Hello, Mother! Regan! I see! And that's why Robert thinks you're the favorite! Yeah, well, I doubt that. The Variety Show! Alright, Mom, well, <laughs> I better get working on my act then. I'll see you in a few days. Shit. So, Michael, how's work going? Cured cancer yet? It's going pretty good. I mean, figuring out how to manufacture my parts. I could get them CNC, maybe injection molded. If I get them CNC, I'm a little afraid of strain hardening, you know. But... But I digress. How about you? Ask him why they call him the hammer. Wait, really? Why do they call you the hammer? Well, I may or may not have sent a few criminals to jail for a very long time. But they deserved it. So are you guys getting ready for the variety show? No, I'm so stressed out about it. How many talents is one person supposed to have? I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to do either. What about you guys? Well, we've been tossing around a few ideas. Oh, by the way, are mom and dad the same with you guys? Yeah, they are. Better stock up on the nuts. Yeah, and Chinese food. Oh. Hey, Carol! Trips planned? Well, aside from visiting you all this Christmas, I have been saving my pounds for an absolutely marvelous trip to Siberia! Like near Russia? Oh yes, exactly, because it's going to be absolutely stunning! I'm planning on staying at a hostel that's a converted gulag, ice fishing on Lake Baikal, and if I'm really lucky, I'll get to use an authentic prison shovel and build myself an igloo! Wow, that sounds, uh, great. Uh, make sure you pick me up some of that authentic Russian vodka. Oh, of course, cuz! Alright, well, I gotta run to my competition now. I'll see you later. Okay, ta-ta!
Maybe I could make a seafood cocktail. Oh, I could have had the ice cream man! GMO-free gooeys. I need some new shoes from Stephanie, but, uh, not much else. David, what are you doing in there now? I'm, uh, doing my PT poses. I heard that if you sit like this for half an hour every day, it, uh, cures all your ailments. David, that's not what your doctors told you to do! Uh, are, are you eating sunflower seeds? Yes. But, uh, what do those quack doctors know anyways, right? David, you are supposed to be practicing your talent show act! This is my talent. David, you cannot do this as your talent show act. In any case, we have to get ready for Dave the Astronaut's party, and despite what that invitation may have said to you. No one wants to see you in your birthday suit. So get ready. And don't you dare think about putting those sweaty, disgusting running clothes straight into the dryer or anywhere else besides the washing machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And don't you dare think about drinking too much at this party because afterwards we're going to go to trivia with Susan and Regan. And then after that, I have to call my favorite son and tell him all about the trivia, and make sure that he knows every question I got right! Hmm... What song shall I dance to for this year's variety show? Oh! Maybe this one! You can't check this luggage. Oh, come on, but what if I make you a daiquiri? I've got all the stuff in my carry-on right here. I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear any of that. You're gonna have to leave some of this stuff behind if you want to make that flight on time. What's in this big suitcase over here? That one's got all my alcohol for everybody, including Domaine de Canton. Domaine de Canton, the world's finest ginger mixing liqueur. Sir, I don't think you can bring that on the flight. What's in this bag? Oh, that one's got all the gifts for, you know, my family, like my parents, Don, Julio, and Sherry. You know, I am their favorite. 
What's in this bag over here? It looks like a trash bag. Oh, that's got my weed, my vaporizer, my edibles. Mmm, yummy. You want some? Sir, you, that you legally cannot bring that on a flight. You're especially the vaporizer. You're gonna have to leave this stuff behind if you want to make that flight. All right, fine. I'll just have to smoke my doobie the old-fashioned way. Sir, just leave the stuff behind and get going. The turkey's in the oven. I'm already getting ready for your family coming over. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to get dressed. Yeah, uh, I'm dressed. I'm no, dressed. No, you're not. I, I'm What's wearing this? clothes. What is this? That's what I I'm thought. I'm basically dressed. Put your arm in here. How, how am I supposed to do this? Just shut up and do what I say. Uh, do I have to do uh, everything around oh, here? Wait. Now you caused me to die, and I was just finally about to beat these 13-year-olds. See if I can. I don't care. even know why I keep on playing. <sighs> Please come help me. Fine, I will come help you. Let me just go take a dunk first. Are you ready yet? Just five more minutes. Oh my god, what are you doing? We're supposed to be leaving for Rob and Steph's house in ten minutes. I gotta go shower. You better be ready when I come down. Julie, are you ready yet? All right, Julie, you better be ready, or else I'm leaving without you. Oh my God. Knife throwing. Thank you, Stephanie. I knew Robert would 
pick a good wife. It must have been all that salmon I ate when I was pregnant with him. And now, for the cat lady herself, Julie! George Washington. Meow. John Adams. <sighs> Thomas Jefferson. Okay, all right. That's enough of that. Get out of here. Oh, come on. And now, for the talent of yours truly, if I may direct your attention over to the piano, I'd like to play you the cover of a song that I've been working on for a long time with my dear friend and piano teacher, Doug. Nice throat. Back up, ladies. Andrew, do you really have to shake it? Oh yeah, because you know, you want to get those real good fumes coming out, you know? I want those fumes to disperse everywhere. Oh, Andrew, I hope you're not using that vodka I bought you. Use that lot of cocktails. Andrew, aren't those fumes highly flammable? Maybe. Well, Andrew, you are definitely not the favorite son. <laughs>